Hey, good morning everybody. This would be our day five of the bison hunt. We are back up around the National Elk Refuge here. See what we could see this morning. A little foggy this morning, a little cloudy, a little skiff of snow. You can see behind me, there's no blue sky back there. There's Blacktail Butte, which you probably can't see in the camera. So uh, we'll see if this breaks off or what's going on. And got my trusty bison hunting hand over here. Rick is with me again today. Morning. So we were just glassing a little bit of the refuge from this one spot right here and um, didn't see nothing. So we're gonna cruise up, see if we can't see that little herd of bison yesterday and see if they're still hanging out in the same spot or what's going on. I haven't seen no other bison hunters on the road yet. But there probably will be some, I'm guessing, already up here. So stay tuned. Let's go uh, keep looking. Well, we found ourselves three bull bison. I'm gonna point the camera out here at them and zoom in for you. Right out there. Just chilling this morning. They're in the national park. But hey, that's cool to see them right there. Forest Service, six, 700 yards over there. And they're walking the wrong way right now. <laughs> But we did not see them yesterday. That's how it happens, what they say. They just kind of will show up. Who knows where they've been, you know, hiding around in here. But I also know that other hunters have probably seen them today. Tag and drag just drove by us. There's some hunters already sitting over on the Forest Service. We could see them because what we did not find is the 11 bison that were right out here last night. They are somewhere else. And it makes me wonder if those hunters up on the hill over here know something that we don't know. So, there we go. Now they're walking the, the wrong way. Well, so far this morning, there's four bulls sitting off of this road that we spotted here that, you know, who knows where they came from or how long they've been in here. Kind of neat to see. They're up, kind of moving around, not close to where we need them. Um, yeah, it's interesting. Uh, hold up. And I believe that herd that we saw yesterday did cross the road. There's some good tracks up here, I think. Um, we haven't found them yet, so who knows? We're trying to develop our game plan here. What are we gonna do? We're gonna sit here and watch these guys a little bit. We might go head for the refuge. Maybe something snuck on. These few bulls out in this field here, they're kind of going the wrong way. Heading that direction. It's other bull back behind us, a solo, he's just chilling. So we'll see. So I think right here is a bison trail that's crossed the road towards the national forest right back up there. But that's what a bison trail looks like. We don't recall seeing it yesterday, but it's not like you could tell there's fresh tracks in it. Snow is too fluffy to really see it, but that's what a bison trail looks like. And if I could snowshoe, I'd go up there. But that's a ways up there. And there's, already people. And there's people up there, so. So there's people up there already on that hill. If this, I'm guessing maybe they think this was a fresh bison track as well. Or maybe they've seen them and they're sitting up there. Don't know. Buffing. Level one. Uh. Uh. Yeah.
top of a tree. Tree gets me every time. Oh. Quite a bit different with a little snow on here. I'm in level two, just kind of giving it some half pedals. Ooh, my whiskers are icicles. Ooh. A lot of elk up there. Look at that herd. There's, look, and they're all going through that gully over there, running. There's 400 in there. 50 or so over here. See any with the naked eye? Tweaking. I don't know. Okay. I want to see one right here. Sneaky buggers. Me place down this flat. Huh? Me place down this flat. Yeah. Trees. It'd be a fun sneak. What would you do if you saw one out there? Maybe come up around this little hill and humpbacks and around. Or up that little thing. If they're out there. Well, I think there's these little humps through to that ridge. You could sneak up the road and come back across them. Set it straight out. I think that's what I would do. Or like I said, you could go around this hump up the hill, back down the ridge. Well, all right. Let's see how the snow is up the hill. Oh, I see a little bit of that backside you're looking at. Yeah. I didn't really see much for track stuff or yeah. What are you looking at? Oh, just a big uh, trail going up towards that half tree. Yeah, I see it. I'm guessing it's elk. Yeah, I don't think I can see that from down the road. Alright. I'm going to get started and kick it into zero and try and pedal this out of here. Ah! Ah!
dead. Are you serious? Yeah. This bike's not going to cut it anymore. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Cutted quite a bit coming down, and I've worked from two to three bars, so I actually gained. Yeah. I was only using level two. I was hoping that would help. This is the farthest away so far. Like, what the hell? I had a lot when I left the mountain. I was half. Uh-uh. This is a long ways away still. You just have to go around the seat. Yeah, because you got, shows you with half a battery. Travis Tuning's e-bike fat tire snow recovery. <laughs> Hope that don't get caught up in the spokes down there. Yeah. I don't know if towing it will just make it easy for you to push or if you able to get on there or do you even want to try pedaling. <laughs> it's, it's just like a normal bike, just keep your handlebars straight forward. Okay. I don't do normal bikes. You want me to get out in front a little here? It's a lot of rope. Yeah, maybe you could just kind of, well, that don't make sense to hold on to it. Okay, so uh, Whoa. I'll drag you if I, like, it's hard for me to turn around and look, but. I'll just, I'll keep talking to you. Yeah, I can hear you, I guess. As long as you don't hear me scream on your girl. Huh. Oh. Huh? Huh. Oh, look. Huh. Still says this thing has a little bit of juice, but it was blinking on the last bar. It don't like pulling. Well, that was an adventure. Yeah, yeah you can call it that. Whew. 
Holy crap. I'm glad I had this rope. Yeah. <sighs> well, quite the adventure that was. Just, my e-bike died maybe a mile away from the parking lot here. We got a rope we tied from the two-wheeler e-bike to the three-wheeler e-bike. Rick pedaled the three-wheeler one. It's hard to pedal that one, and we made it, but whoo, we are exhausted. Time for a milkshake, maybe. <laughs> All right, we're gonna swing back around, check on those bison before we head home today. See what's going on that way. I think I got some frozen whiskers. <sighs> well, all right, guys, thanks for watching. This is our end of our hunt today. We're just taking one last trip out here around Kelly, just kind of glassing the hillsides and stuff, seeing if there's any bison coming. We spotted one little guy right over here in the uh, in the woods. This is a popular spot they like to hang right here, so it's on National Park. Right here with the Grand Teton behind. I'll show, I'll point him out, but he's kind of dark underneath the tree, but at least you have a good view. So he's right down in these trees. There's the Grand Teton behind. And he's a dark spot right there. And he's just chilling there. So is what it is. But we're out here today. Thank you very much. Hit the subscribe button, the notifications, and until the next hunt, um, don't know when that will be, but until next time, we'll see you later.